Thanks, Chris. And don't laugh at me, but I think Ryobi is missing an opportunity here. I think they should make a portable sewing machine that could be used by campers and people outside. It fits really well with their core competencies. They do batteries, they do motors, they do precision machinery, they make robust tools, and they have a good distribution network. I have these portable solar panels and I want to make storage covers for them. So I went up to the local fabric store and picked up some black canvas. Next I had to find an inexpensive small sewing machine on Amazon. I found one for $46 and I thought I'd give it a try. I could always return it. It's really teeny and light. I don't know how well it's going to work, but it's a little sewing machine. It's got a foot pedal. It's got a little plug, AC power plug. Came with a bunch of bobbins and thread, and it came with a fold-up table that slides onto the machine. It has a light switch here that goes on and off, and you can go slow or fast here. And you can also manually push this instead of the foot switch. Let's see if we can sew through canvas. I'm sewing through a double piece of canvas. The stitches don't look too bad. The downside is that I really don't like having the AC plug, so I'm going to try to make some kind of adapter. Power supply outputs 6 volts at 0.8 amps. Since it takes 6 volts input here, I thought I'd try a DC to DC converter that goes from uh, up to 24 volts down to 6 volts at 3 amps. And I just connect it to one of my Ryobi battery connectors and it does work. You can also use the hand on off switch here. Now I just have to design some kind of adapter that fits to the sewing machine and mounts the battery. I used my little USB pop 3D scanner to scan the back of the sewing machine so could I could use it to make a model. Here's the point cloud I got from the scan. You can see I only did the back of it. And then I made a watertight polygonal model out of it. I loaded the scan of the back of the sewing machine into the software. I auto segmented it so that I could find different things to set up the coordinate system with. I did an automatic surface of it to create a NURB surface so I could get a solid. I sketched and extruded a box here so that I could subtract out the back of the sewing machine. So by subtracting it you get the mating piece which is pretty cool and I can use that to build off of. From there I can add the Ryobi battery interface and put in a little hole that the wires can run through and a little box to store the connections. Finally I can make a little cover that covers the compartment and we're all set to try printing it. I loaded the model in. I'm using support in a couple of areas here. It's going to be a long uh, 14 hour print. I loaded the lid model into the slicer and I'm using support around the bottom because of the lip. I'm using the new Overture Spring Green Pet G material. It's finished printing. I cleaned out the support so the sewing machine slides into here. The Ryobi 18 volt batteries go there. This is a little box to make connections in. I've put the clip on the battery and I'm just going to slide it in to get it started. 
I've attached the plus and minus that go to the DC to DC converter that outputs uh, six volts. And I have the plug run over to the input of the sewing machine. And then you can just uh, screw it, pull it back in here. I soldered up some connectors so I could make a little jumper to go from the machine to the case for the foot switch. I've got this wire that I've made up that goes to the foot pedal jack and I've plugged it into the sewing machine and I've plugged in the power from the sewing machine and then this just slides back in and then I made a little cover that just fits on it. I made some decorations for the two sides. I've put spray adhesive on the back of the labels here and I can mount those. Okay, I'm finally ready to start on my project sewing the covers. Just gonna make a chalk line down where I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna mark two lines where I'm gonna sew. Once I sew the sides, this is going to be reversed, so I'm putting Velcro on first. I have to put both sides on, and then I'll sew the sides of the fabric together to make the pocket. Now theoretically I should be able to just reverse this and I should be all set. Right, so it's velcro shut. And the solar panel fits inside. Well, since everything worked, I guess I'll paint it Ryobi green. I hope Ryobi is listening to us. I think this would be a really useful tool. Well, I hope this was helpful. If it was, please hit like and subscribe and have a great day.